Hey everyone, so got a slightly different video today. I had somebody from the community that watches my channel reach out to me and uh, they had come across a collection of books, small collection of books that uh, someone was interested in selling that they had found in their shed. And so a number of the books he showed me uh, were in pretty rough condition, but there were a few uh, books in there that made it where I felt like it was worthwhile to, to go and check these out. And so I'm heading out that way. Uh, we'll see if I'm able to pick up these books. And if I do, then, you know, hopefully we'll be able to, to go over those and, and see what's in there and, and talk about this collection. So, all right, so I'm, I'm on my way. It'll be a couple hours, but it'll be just, you know, a couple seconds for you. So uh, let's go see what's there. All right, so we're heading down to like central Virginia. It is a cold morning today. It's in the teens, so pretty, pretty cold. But uh, yeah, ready for a, for a little drive. So uh, that guy's flying. <laughs> So it's finally hit 32 degrees. So at least it's not down in the teens anymore <laughs> since we've been driving south, but getting a little warmer. All right, so this is the collection. As you can see, it's in this plastic bin. First book there is a pretty solid one. It's the origin of Captain America and a decent condition actually for the books in this in this box because generally they're mostly in about the the two to four range uh i've always liked that cover you know just a, a nice early-ish thor this is actually one of the earliest books in there nice book journey into mystery number 108 uh so this collector definitely he had quite a few thor related books a decent little uh set of thor books uh with uh, probably this being the biggest key in there, uh, the first part of the Origin of Galactus, Thor 168. Also always really liked this Hela cover. Wish that was her first appearance because her first appearance is a pretty garbage cover. Uh, but yeah, here's another nice book, Amazing Spider-Man 51. Uh, second appearance of Kingpin, first cover. So I was happy to, to see that one in there. Here's another nice Amazing Spider-Man, first shocker, ASM 46. Uh, unfortunately, so this is the first cover of Gwen Stacy. It is, uh, you can see when I lift it up there, it is it's completely detached. Uh, the the mice or rodents or something got to it and they just chewed through the spine. They seem to like the spines of these books. But still, early Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, then we've got the first Marvel team-up, so uh, that was a cool book. And there's a couple of random Red Circle uh, books in here uh, and then a couple of romance books. It's mostly Marvel, Silver, and Bronze, though. A um, couple war-related books, um, you know, the, the Sergeant Rock and Our Army at War, uh, that kind of thing. Um, but definitely a collector that, that really preferred Spider-Man, Daredevil, Thor, Avengers, uh, kind of the major Marvel runs. I thought this was just a cool book with Kazar and Doctor Doom and Black Panther, so I thought that was just a fun book. One of the the few DC books. There were a few DC books thrown in here, uh, largely from Adventure Comics. Um, let's see. I think we've got some some more Spider-Man come up. Here's the not brand Eck. Uh, there were a couple books in there from that. Uh, that's the nicer one. There was a four and a three. Um, this is the only Batman book. Unfortunately, this is 252. There's no 251. Um, but I was hoping maybe when I, when I saw that 252, there might be a 251. A uh, couple... Spider-Man that are from that uh, after the hundreds, but here's a nice one, 52. I think that's the third uh, Kingpin, also cool cover. And then there we've got the first appearance of the Prowler. Uh, low grade, but still a, a nice key for, for Spider-Man. 
Um, another Marvel team up. I thought that was just a, a cool one with uh, Submariner on the cover, just because you know we've got rumors of Submariner coming. Uh, so never bad books to have. Then coming up soon, I think we've got uh, a few Fantastic Four books. Yep, so uh, we've got, that's uh, actually one of the first Fantastic Four books I had as a kid, uh, one of the few early uh, ones I had. And this is one of the bigger books in here, Fantastic Four 67, Origin of Him. Uh, you can see I cut there because I was flipping through the pages to check it. always liked that Doom cover on that, that Hulk book. No Hulk 181, no Hulk 180. Uh, but there were some earlier Hulks from the the. the run that started again you've got that one where he's fighting rhino um then i think we've got uh, a couple other early hulks in here let's see which ones that one's in pretty <laughs> pretty rough condition there was no 102 unfortunately that would have been the bigger book uh, from what was here but uh there was the this 105 was actually in decent condition is a pretty classic cover for for early hulk so uh so that was a a nice book to see in there i, I don't think i remembered that that book was part of this there are a couple Strange Tales books. You see, this is Strange Tales 168, no 169. Just missed it because it's such a... That's the last book of Strange Tales before it changes to the title, so unfortunate. Um, there were a couple nice copies of Tales to Astonish in there. Uh, they don't really have a lot of value, but they actually they dodged the, the mice <laughs> for, some, uh, for some reason, so it was nice to see, uh, see those books. Then we've got a... A few DC books, like I said, there's that Wonder Woman. Unfortunately, that uh, ASM 80 took uh, a lot of uh, a lot of damage from the mice. Um, but still, uh, one of these anything Amazing Spider-Man under 100, you know, is a, a great book to to have in my opinion. Um, so then we have uh, this one here with the lizard. Lizard was one of my favorite characters. It's just always a huge plus to see these pre 100 Amazing Spider-Mans. We've got this one here with Kazar, a great book to, to see with him. And this is a, a real nice book in here, Avengers 48, First Black Knight, uh, and X-Men 7. It's super beat up, but it's still the second blob. And then a nice, another real nice uh, book. It's, it's beat up, I believe cover's detached, but uh, Aquaman 35, First Black Manta. Uh, so that was a nice little run of some, some pretty uh, nice books that were, that were in this collection. We've got Captain America 118, Second Falcon, um, and then uh, I think of just a few earlier Avengers books. You know, these nice Silver Age Avengers books, lower grade, but still great books if people are trying to put together, you know, runs, that kind of thing. Um, I think that one was a, a, a early-ish Kang appearance or a Kang appearance, so um, always great books to have with that. There are actually two copies of, of this one. One of them is in decent condition, um, but... Nothing like overly key about it. This one, I was I was sad to see the condition of this book. This one's really rough, but that's a just a classic Steranko cover. Uh, so a real popular book for that. You still got that main picture. This one too. Uh, <laughs> this one's also very rough, but First Falcon, so it's nice to see. And then just some of these earlier Captain America, uh, Captain America books. You know, kind of like around that hundred mark. Um, so those were just fun to come across in this uh, in this collection. Uh, then, yeah, just a couple, a couple more, uh, I think more random books. You know, like War of the Worlds down there. Uh, then uh, this one is this. You've got this Daredevil Black Widow cover. It's in rough shape, but a cool book to, cool book to see. I've never, never had that book personally. And you know, Daredevil was one of the other the types of books that he had a, a fair number of. There are quite a few. I think the earliest it got down to was issue twenty three. Um, nothing that got down into the, you know, the, the teens or, or anything real low like that. But we're getting down to the bottom of this uh, right side of the box, and uh, this isn't all the keys, so I'll, I'll definitely be talking about the rest of those later in this video. So stay tuned. All right, so I was able to purchase the collection. Very excited about this. Uh, so as you saw when I was flipping through the books, a lot of them are in pretty rough condition. There are definitely some that are you know, have the covers torn off and, and all of that, but there are some cool keys in there as well. So I was very excited to be able to pick those up. Um, it was great getting to uh, meet someone uh, from the, the comic community that watches my channel. So that was a lot of fun. He was the one that reached out to me about the collection and then I uh, was able to meet the woman who uh, who had uh, originally found the books in her, her shed and <laughs> was able to uh, to talk with her and everything. So that was a, that was a lot of fun. So uh, when I get back, I will 
uh, go over the the keys that are from this collection and kind of what I plan to do with them if I, there are any that I'm, I'm planning to send in to, to CGC or not. So stay tuned and then we'll go over the, the keys and everything that I, I picked up in this collection. All right, so like you saw, I was able to pick up that collection. Again, I had a great time meeting uh, with the, the other member of the comic community and his nephew. It was fun talking with, uh, with both of you about comics, what you like to collect, your collections, that kind of thing as well. Uh, always fun getting to, to talk with people, especially in person, because you don't get to do that all that, <laughs> all that often right now. So I've got a decent stack of, I'll say like keys and minor keys that I'm gonna go over. So basically I've got the, the keys here and then also some of the books from the, the major titles, the major runs that were in, in decent condition. Uh, so we'll get started with these. Uh, the first one was Amazing Spider-Man number 46. First appearance of the Shocker, regardless of, of grade, a, a nice book to have, you know, any time you get the Amazing Spider-Man key, uh, it's a good book. And we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 51. This is the second appearance of Kingpin, first cover appearance. Again, another book that's been super hot ever since he uh, re-emerged in uh, the, the Hawkeye show. And we've got Amazing Spider-Man 52. Third appearance of Kingpin, also just kind of like a classic cover uh, with Spider-Man tied up here on the cover. And this was actually in pretty decent condition. I was pretty happy with, uh, with the condition of that book. And we've got Amazing Spider-Man 54. This one's pretty rough. You can see, you know, the, the creases there, but just a, a great Spider-Man Doc Ock cover. Then Amazing Spider-Man 55. This is a pretty nice one as well. This is in surprisingly nice condition. Classic Doc Ock cover. I was real happy to see that one in nice condition there. Then we've got number 56, another classic Spider-Man Doc Ock cover. The uh, Dr. Octopus covers, th those have all been pretty hot lately, regardless of, of condition, just with the latest Spider-Man movies. So uh, happy to see those. Then I uh, saw this one in the video. This was just a, a Kazar cover and, uh, and Zabu, of course, you know. And uh, so the fact that we will likely, I think people are speculating we're gonna have Kazar. I, I think those relatively early appearances of him, you know, especially crossovers with Spider-Man are, are great books to, to have. We've got Spider-Man 58. I think this is the second Spider Slayer, um, but just a, a cool cover. And anytime, you know, these sub 100 Spider-Mans are, are good to have. Now you can see pretty rough here. Like this is the type of damage I started seeing in them. And that's that, that kind of like mouse or rodent chew. And they, they really liked the spines <laughs> for some reason. Unfortunately, they really liked the spines. Uh, like this one, this is a completely detached cover, but still Amazing Spider-Man number 60, cool Kingpin cover, that black cover, and the main image is still good, so it's a nice run filler type book. And then Amazing Spider-Man 61, this is the first cover appearance of Gwen Stacy, another book that if you saw in the video has a detached cover, uh, but, but still a uh, Spider-Man key nonetheless, you know, number 61. Then we've got number 67, it's a cool Mysterio cover. 66 is the, I think the one where it's kind of like the full image of him. Is a, is a little, you know, the preferred cover, but still this is a cool one with the, with the uh, giant hands. And then we've got Amazing Spider-Man 78, first appearance of the Prowler. Again, you can see that, that rodent damage. Um, but still, first appearance of the Prowler, a key, and the colors are, are surprisingly good. That was the other surprising thing with these books is that the page quality, despite them being in rough condition, page quality was really nice. Like a lot of them look like they could even be like white pages. Then uh, the last Spider-Man book here is Amazing Spider-Man number 110. Uh, this is one of the, uh, this may be the latest one that was in the in the collection. And this is the first appearance of the Gibbon. Not a, not a major character or anything, but a first appearance nonetheless. All right, then we've got one of the few DC books and really I think like the only DC key this is Aquaman number 35. It has a detached cover and you know somebody drew up in the uh, in the title there, but still first appearance of Black Mana and we're, even in low grade, a, a pretty great book to have because I think we're expecting to see him again in the next Aquaman movie. All right, and then moving on to the Avengers and this is kind of some decent condition uh, books from the, the major titles, Avengers 44, then Avengers 46, uh, which is when Ant-Man comes back and so Ant-Man, it's not a key, but those Ant-Man books, not, not bad to have with uh, the, uh, the next Ant-Man movie that's gonna be coming out. Now, this is one of the biggest books that was in here. This is Avengers number 48. Surprisingly in decent condition. Really 
no bug chew. There is some kind of like some foxing and that kind of thing, especially on the back, but a decent presenting copy of this book. And this one has cooled off some, but still, I expect this to be a pretty hot book moving forward. So this was one of the main books I was interested in uh, in this collection. Then another, uh, just a few books that were in, in decent condition here from that run, Avengers 49. Uh, you know, just cool Magneto, Scarlet Witch, uh, Quicksilver cover. I think it's just, you know, with those main characters, I think it's just a, a cool cover to have. Then uh, issue 50, which I, I liked this one just because th they had two, he had two copies, but it's actually in pretty nice condition. It's, for some reason, the Avengers, the, the, a lot of these Avengers books actually they must have been out of reach or something for, for the mice because they stayed in pretty decent condition. Uh, then we've got Avengers 52, really beat up, but I believe this is the first appearance of the Grim Reaper, uh, who was hot for a second uh, when people were speculating that he was going to show up in the new WandaVision show and never did, but still uh, a first appearance uh, Avengers book. Then we've got this uh, early appearance of Ultron, uh, I can't remember if this is the first cover appearance or not. I think it is, but you, know, you can correct me if you want in the uh, the comments. Again, got a little you know mouse chew up in that corner, but in general, colors are pretty nice. Nice presenting copy in terms of uh, the colors that you know. And the the main picture isn't impacted. Then we have uh, this book here, which because of the popularity of Kang, uh, this one has gotten a little heat around it. You know, you've got a relatively early Kang appearance. Now, moving on to Captain America. There were some cool Captain America books there. Uh, some of them were in better condition than others. Uh, this first one, Captain America 109, actually in decent condition, probably around a, a 4.0, something like that. Um, has some creasing and that kind of thing, but a really cool cover. Oh, it's the retelling of the origin of Captain America, so cool book. Then Captain America 110. This is a Starenko cover, just a, you know, this one was really beat up. I was sad to see that because I would have, it would be nice if this one was in like the same condition as, as this book, uh, but the mice seem to like this one. Uh, so pretty beat up, but still a, a cool Starenko cover. Then uh, 111, which I just, I have, cause this is a cool cap cover and in decent condition, a, a, you know, a nice presenting copy, you know, like a, maybe a three, something like that. Then another one of the bigger books, if it had been in, in nice condition, but really beat up, it's probably a, somewhere in the 0.5 to 10 range. And this is Captain America number 117, first appearance of the Falcon, but still, even in low grade, it's still first appearance of the Falcon, still a great book to, to have. And like I've seen, you've seen with the others, like the colors are still really good, it's just that the, the mice got to it. And then we also had Captain America 118, one issue later, his second appearance. I don't like this cover nearly as much as his first appearance, but uh, still, cool book. Like I said, he did have quite a few Daredevil books as well, but no big keys really or anything, but I've always liked this one, Daredevil 37. I just always thought it's a, a real cool Doom cover and a really lopsided fight with Daredevil fighting against Doom. And then Daredevil number 48, which has Stiltman, who I think is just one of the most ridiculous characters. But, uh, but yeah, so just a cool Stiltman cover. And, you know, again, surprisingly okay condition, decent condition with this book. You've got some, like, color rub and stuff at the top, but in general, the colors really pop for it. And this one I, I threw in here just because it's generally a pretty popular book with this, uh, I call it kind of like a good girl art uh, Black Widow cover with, uh, with Daredevil on it. Now, the mice got to the top of it, so it's unfortunate. But still, cool book, Daredevil number 81. Now, next is one of the other big books uh, that was in here. This is Fantastic Four, number 67. This is the first cameo appearance of him. You actually see him, uh, or, or Adam Warlock, you see him on that last page, uh, as well as the cocoon. Uh, not a super popular cover, but also one of those ones that it su surprisingly avoided a lot of that damage. It's got a little bit of water damage, you know, that kind of thing, but in general, Probably like a 3.5 or a 4. Nice copy of this book. Then we've got just a few Fantastic Four books that were in pretty decent condition considering. So we've got Fantastic Four 68. It's a great thing cover. Uh, Fantastic Four 69, which I mentioned this is one of the, the few Silver Age Fantastic Four books I had when I was a kid. It's from my like original collection. And that one's a, it's probably even nicer than the one I had. And then Fantastic Four 70, which again, just this one, pretty decent condition again. So some nice Silver Age Fantastic Four books. Then next, this one, again, would have been nice if it was a little better condition, but still a cool book to come across is Green Lantern number 40. And so this is the first 
team up with uh, the Golden Age Green Lantern, Alan Scott, and the Silver Age Green Lantern, um, Hal Jordan. Um, but, uh, but yeah, pretty cool cover. I mean, it's rough. I, you know, it's got a lot of chew along the spine, that kind of thing. But still, cool book to come across. Now, he was also definitely a, a, a Hulk collector, but only a couple of them I thought were really notable. Unfortunately, like I said, no 180, no 181, no 141. Uh, but there was 104, which I've always liked this cover with Rhino. Um, you know, it's again, tough or rough condition. It's got that chewing on the spine, but nice presenting copy and nice run filler book. This one's surprisingly in pretty good shape. I was pretty happy with this. This is 105, classic Hulk cover. And this one's nice. I mean, you can tell it's actually, you know, if all the books were like this would have been, <laughs> would have been incredible. But, uh, but yeah, one of the, the few that seemed to dodge the, uh, the mice. Then, this is the only book I put in. There were a few Iron Man books. Uh, this is just, I felt like it was an early one, Iron Man number three. There was also a number four that was in pretty rough condition. But uh, for number three, it's in decent enough condition. The Iron Man books don't really carry a lot of value, but still early Iron Man uh, for his solo series, you know, issue number three. Issue number one is really the, the main money book for, for Iron Man, then 55. Uh, but, but still, I thought this was, was cool, having issue number three. Then, I put this one in here just because this was one of the earliest books, possibly the earliest book in the collection. Uh, this is Journey into Mystery number 108. It's just a, you know, it's a Thor Loki cover. Nothing super key or anything about this one, but I just, he was definitely a, a Thor collector as well. And so I thought this was cool. You know, even though it's in rough condition, um, still Journey into Mystery number 108. Then if you watch one of my unboxings recently, I picked up a, a pretty high grade copy of this one, but this one's in decent condition. Uh, Marvel Team Up number one. You know, it's got some wear along the spine and all that, but you know, just a, a nice number one, you know, Spider-Man, uh, never, never bad books to have. Then there are a couple books from this run. So it's Nick Fury, Agent, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number three. Uh, Stranko did a lot of the covers early on like this, and so there's some cool covers with that. Uh, so we had issue number three, and then I think one of the coolest, if not the coolest cover from that run, uh, issue number four. It's got that super 60s like psychedelic feel to it. And uh, you know, those aren't holes. Those are, you know, bullet drawings on there, but uh, not terrible condition or anything. So yeah, issues number three and four. Then I mentioned that some of the best condition books in there uh, were these Tales to Astonish books. Uh, so we had Tales to Astonish number 96, which I, those Submariner books, they might be undervalued right now because these books are all pretty cheap. Uh, the, the late Tales to Astonish run, and so the ones with Submariner might be worth going after. Uh, so, cool skull cover too. So, 96, uh, 97, which was a you know, cool Hulk cover, and then 99, so another one. And you can see, like, pretty decent condition for uh, com in comparison to a lot of the other books that were in here. Now, here's another one of the, the good, kind of like bigger keys that was in here. Rough shape, but still, this is Thor number 168. This is the first part of the origin story for Galactus. And so, you know, Galactus wearing his like short shorts. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I was, I was, I think I'd forgotten this one was in there when I, before I went and looked. And so I was happy to see that book show up. Uh, then just a cool cover that I've always really liked Thor 150. Uh, so just, I don't think this is the first Hella cover, but an early Hella cover. But uh, I mean, it's too bad that this wasn't her, her first appearance because super cool cover. looks just like in the movie, basically. Then we have uh, Thor 147, which I've just always thought is a really cool um, Loki and Thor battle cover with Odin on there. So cool cover and in decent condition as well. Now, the last two, only two books from the X-Men run. This one is a solid 0.5, uh, but X-Men number seven. So this is the second appearance of the blob. You can see uh, it's just, it's in really rough shape. Mice got to it on the spine and you've got pieces missing on the side here, but still it's X-Men number seven. You, you know, second appearance of the blob, early X-Men uh, was cool to see that book. And then the last one here, X-Men number 40. Uh, this is the first appearance of Frankenstein in Marvel. And so it's like a minor key, pretty cool book. I, I actually showed this, uh, I had a different copy of this that I picked up in an unboxing maybe a month or two ago. Uh, but uh, yeah, first Marvel appearance of Frankenstein. So another cool book to see in there. 
Uh, again, I just want to uh, thank the uh, member of the community that reached out to me to uh, about this collection. So I was able to go and meet with the seller and uh, make a deal on this one. It was, it was uh, great meeting people, lots of fun, and, and super happy with this. Uh, so for what I paid for the collection, I paid $700 for, for everything. Um, like I said, a lot of them are in the, you know, 2015 to, to 40 range. So uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty rough condition with a lot of them, but I felt like that was a, a pretty fair price uh, for all, all things considered. So for what I'm planning to do with most of them, I mean, most of them I'll, I'll probably end up selling uh, raw, but there are a few that I might consider getting graded. The, uh, the, the 46 I might get graded, 52 because it's in, in decent condition, I might get graded. 55, again, decent condition, might get that one graded. The, uh, uh, the Aquaman 35, even though low grade, uh, might send that one in. Now the two that are, are more definites are, are these two. I, th I think I'm gonna almost certainly get the FF67 and the, uh, the Avengers 48 graded. I think those are, those are worth it. Uh, the other ones, it's kind of a question. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to think about it if it's worth sending those in or not. But that's my, that's my plan for, for uh, most of these books. Again, just a couple that I think are, are definitely worthwhile for grading, a couple others that, that might be worthwhile to send in for grading. And the rest of them I would just, I would just uh, keep raw. But again, uh, thank you for reaching out to me about this collection. It was a lot of fun. Uh, again, meeting uh, someone from the community and uh, being able to, to go out there and, and find some cool books. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. I've got more videos over here if you'd like to watch some of my other videos and the subscription button right here. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it and I will see you in the next video.